Hello viewers, welcome to QTP functional testing videos. Myself Rozai. In my previous video, how to schedule QTP test, I demonstrated you about how we can use AOM to automate QTP operations to launch QTP and open any specific test and run the test, right? So we write the script and save it in a VBS file. Once we have that VBS file, I I told you step that we need to follow to schedule that VBS file, right? So people who are who didn't watch that video, just watch that video, okay? And in this video, what I am going to do is, uh, I will be having a multiple tests. So this is a kind of a general realistic, you know, example where we will be having multiple tests that will be run overnight okay and by the time we turn up in the mo um, morning all the execution should be completed and the results should be displayed right this is a general kind of realistic example and then most organizations will follow the same kind of thing what they will do is they will put all the like you know tests as a batch okay <laughs> and they will uh, schedule that batch sometime overnight like some uh, you know 12 o'clock or sometime after 10 pm or something okay so once these scripts will be executed from the scheduled time and it will be like you know once the execution is over they will put a some kind of functionality called sending a mails to some of the recipients so that once those recipients came uh, come back to office they will see the results of the execution okay so i am also doing the same kind of thing in this uh, demonstration okay for that we will be having multiple approaches okay i will explain you one approach uh, in my script and i will give you an outline uh, for another approach once the once this example is over okay so in my previous video what we did was like first we have created a qtp object after that i gave a qtp test file path after that i launched like you know uh, qtp and after that uh, once the qtp is opened i ha i write a i write the statement like this which opens that test okay after that i have a statement like this okay what it will do is it will run the whatever the test i configured right but in this video what i would like to do here is i put all my tests okay uh, into one specific folder path so uh, as for this demonstration purpose i have a three tests called test one test two test three okay they like you know the uh, i don't put much functionality in here but as per your need you might have a different functionality but in each of these tests what i have a print statement like this is a test one this is for test two i have a like you know put a similar kind of statement saying uh, print test two okay like that even what the what how many number of test that you want you can put all this into this folder path okay so for that what i am doing here is first i am creating a qtp object okay these are the different types of objects i have created uh, i have created uh, another object called file system object using scripting dot file system object and and another object called qtp run results option I will explain you my approach first now here so what I would like to do here is I have all these tests in this folder okay so upon executing this what should have is it should execute test 1 after that test 2 and test 3 once the execution while the execution I would like to create a folder with the current date okay in this current date say as per now right so it should have some date okay and in this folder i will have a test name and corresponding results in it okay so upon executing you will be knowing what is my intent here okay i will show you that output as well here in in this demonstration okay for that reason i am creating two uh, objects like file system object and result option also uh, run result options okay so what i am first doing here is 
once I get into this path batch test, I would like to know which and all are QTP tests. At this moment, all these three are my QTP tests. But for example, say I have an another folder like you know some temp folder which is not a QTP test folder. So I need to distinguish between which of these folders are QTP test and which of them are non QTP test. If it is a QTP test, what it should have is any QTP test will have action zero. Even you might have written for the action one, you might have a different name, but every QTP test should have action zero. Based on this, I will be concluding whether it is a QTP test or a normal folder. If it is a normal folder, it doesn't have anything, even if it might have some different, like you know, different folder names, but it it based on the action zero uh, folder it can we can distinguish between whether it is a qtp test or a different folder okay for that reason what i'm doing here is see uh, this is the file system object dot get folder i'm i'm giving this folder path like you know to get the folder object here okay once i have this folder object i would like to get all the folder names so what a main folder name dot subfolders what it will do is it will retrieve you all the folder collection so in our example it at this moment this is the collection of objects test one test two test three and temp okay that will be assigned to test subfolder right so uh, this i will i will explain you a bit later okay so once I need to iterate through all these folders right for that reason what I am doing is I am using a for loop for each okay so for this object so basically what it will do is it will iterate through first temp folder okay and once I have into a temp folder it will check whether it have any action zero or not because at this moment uh, temp doesn't have any you know uh, action zero folder what it will do it concludes that this is not a QTP test and it need it needs to go to the next folder okay the next folder is test one which have an like you know action zero okay so it concludes that it is a QTP test if it is a QTP test what it should do it has to open the test right QTP, uh, QTP object dot open and this is a folder path okay so it which has to open this test right so it will get that path here folder object dot path will get this path okay so after that once it opens this uh, so upon execution i would like to save the results in a specified path so for that what i am doing here is s path which is like you know which i uh, explained you before like format date is a method what it will do is it will get the current date uh, in a format like where it uh, omits all uh, backslashes colon spaces and all okay so once i have that path i will want to put the results in a result folder okay that i am setting it in here qtp result object which i created here okay dot result location equal to this path okay once i execute this script you will get more clarity okay just don't worry about that so once i have once i set the result path what i will do is i will execute my qtp test okay once i execute this whatever the test that got executed will be stored in this result path okay so once the test is over i would like to know whether the test got passed or failed okay so this statement qtp test uh, qtp app dot test dot lost on result dot status what it will do is if if the test execution is passed it will like you know it will return you the status of that execution if it is passed then this value will have a pass or else it will fail once the execution is over what i will do i will close the uh, that test and i will go to the next test okay so in this approach i am just putting all my folders in this path okay 
and in my next approach i will tell you like you know what is the send method and what i am doing in there but at this moment let me execute this and show you what i am trying to do here okay so as you can see uh, this aom i written in this file okay in this file so i'm just executing this upon executing it what it should do it should launch qtp just a second it launched qtp test one is open executed test two got opened executed and test three got executed and after that it closed everything and as you can see it created this folder so what how i got this folder is like you know what i am doing here is i am just uh, getting this folder name for that what i am doing is i am just using the format date function so basically what i am doing here is format function what what this will do is uh, i'll put this in here to give you more clarity just a second so just forget about all these things okay so even this one also what i would like to do here is i just want to print now what will happen here once i click on here so this is the date format right so i want to omit all these special characters and would like to create a folder with a name omitting all these special characters and even even you know am or pm okay so this is what it will uh, it will retrieve you is one second i will show you that okay once i have this i would like to give a print based on the current time it will retrieve this name okay this is 12th month 29th day 2012 okay and uh, this is hours minutes and seconds okay so once i am getting this name so whatever the name i have shown you here right so that name i am getting here okay so once i have this name i am putting into if e drive so that is how this folder got created okay once i have that in that folder what i am doing here is whatever the this is the test name right what we have we have these test names in batch test we have these test names right test 1 test 2 test 3 so i am creating a corresponding uh, see this test name uh, this folder object dot name what it will do is with whatever the name of the test it will create a folder in it okay in this folder see e drive in this folder it will create a with the test name in that i have a i have created a result folder where qtp results got saved that is what i am doing here so once i have this part once the execution is over okay so in at this point of time once the execution is over it will store the results in this part okay so in this approach i uh, like you know once you have this uh, script you can i uh, you know how to schedule this vbs file right which i covered in my previous video okay so in another example what we can do is at this moment i have all my scripts in this folder path for example you might have like you know a QTP test in different locations, E drive, C drive, even in some tests in uh, network folders. But how can I execute those things? For that, what my approach would be like, I will create an Excel sheet, okay, uh, where I will giving like you know, uh, like see the path would be like E colon test one or something like that, okay, and another one is C column dot 
a b c slash t e f slash something like you know test 5 whatever it is like that okay and like this you you might have a different test okay some of them are in different dials or whatever it is okay you might have a network uh, you, you know sharing folder like n dot uh, uh, something something test save like that so here my approach would be like you know i i will write my own method or own script to read this value so once i have read this value i will iter like you know i will first find out the number of recording existing in here after that i will read this value okay once i have that value what i will do i will put that path as here okay once i have that path i will i will you need not update anything here you just need to write a script to get that path name right once that i once i have that uh, path i will execute that test after that what i will do in this column i will put the status so whatever the status it is written here i would like to put that status whether it is passed or failed or something right after that i will save this file okay once all my tests got over executed i would like to send this as an attachment to like you know to my mail id for that what i did was like you know i write a custom function called send mail okay what it will do is so say uh, i i have this file path and once the execution is over i have the status like you know execution status for each of these tests okay and i save this file after that once the execution is over i write a custom method like send mail method okay for here what i am doing here is i am just creating an outlook object and for that i am creating an outlook mail okay with this message i am just creating like you know the subject header for that outlook mail is like test results for date and this is the path for example whatever the path i am getting here right uh, okay so this is like you know uh, this is subject where i am setting the uh, subject as some constant where i am just uh, once the execution is over i will get the subject with this text appended with the current date okay and this is some static text okay you just the response dot add method will whatever the mail id is that you would like to add here you add those mail ids here after that what i am doing is i am attaching this file name whatever the path name for this file you give you just give that path here okay and after that send method what it will do is it will send you an mail to whatever whoever the recipient that you add here okay that is another kind of approach okay so after that i think uh, once you have this file uh, you, you know once you have this script in place i think you know how to schedule this vba script right how do you do that you just click on task sorry not in here you just click here in task scheduler you open the scheduler and schedule whatever the test that you want you you know that uh, like you know in my previous video i explained about it right so just follow those steps to schedule this test okay that's how we can schedule a batch of qtp tests right thanks for watching this video please leave your comments about this video thanks thank you